I'm Pop Rock, and today I'll be showing you how to draw Molly from the ghost in Molly McKee. So I did make an earlier take, but it failed to upload, and so I just decided to keep up. I'm going to upload on Thursday, which is today, and then I'll upload the next day, which is Friday, so that I can be completely caught up. And so this is supposedly what it's supposed to look like. I'm going to get started by breaking the character down to basic shows. This show is about a girl named Molly McGee who plans to make the world a better place. And the ghost, named Scratch, plans to do the exact opposite. After he messes up Brown with one of his spells, he and Molly are forever bound for all eternity, and they form an unlikely friendship as they go through the ups and downs of their different views of life. This is going to be on Disney Channel, going to be a musical and a horror comedy. I'm going to hope that's a good thing. step I'm going to do is the face which I'm going to do with the eyes so I'm going to make a circle sort of this isn't the final design and then we'll draw around those eyes creating sort of like an almond like a wide nut sort of like that the pupils it's just oval Oh, bam, done. It will be a lot thinner. So, and then the nose, it's just a bump like that. And then there's a smile, eyebrow. And the other one is covered by her bangs, sort of. And now I'm going to add details to the hair. So I'm just gonna draw over it. Spike, another spike, and then I'll add the uh, extra bits to her hair when I outline it. So keep that in mind if, when I'm done doing it. And then the shine of her hair is going to be like that. Bam, done. And one up here. And that's okay. the face. So now I'm going to be drawing the body, which is pretty much this area. Everything except the legs and feet. So I'm going to make a basic shape right here for the uh, denim jacket. And it's sleeveless to let you know, but you probably already noticed that. And I'm just gonna make it full neck and a U-shaped curve right here. And for the arms, it's just a curve, and it's going like this. And just go around the arms. There's a sleeve right there. I'll be adding tinier details when I outline it. So keep that in mind. And now for the fingers, it's just going to be just these small, well, kind of U-shaped, and it's four fingers, just four. And we'll do the same for the other side. And yeah. Okay. And for the denim jacket, yes. So use these little points like that. And then sort of like a semicircle, semicircle. Bring it up and then we'll do the same to the other side. Just like that. Bam. 
Mm -hmm. And on the right side, it's just a bracelet. There's a bracelet right here, and it kind of goes like for a curve like that, except it's smaller and it goes around the hand, obviously. And there's a circle. And I'll just be curving it right up there. And the skirt, it's just pretty much curving. You can look closely, you can see like the details to the skirt like that. But I'll be adding them when I do an outline. Or you can make your own design for it. It's up to you. And finally, I'm going to make, I'm going to go around the legs. So same thing as I did before, except we're gonna stop right about here. And I'm gonna draw a sock and a little bit of hands to show that she's not just wearing a skirt. You know, you, you know what I mean. Do the same thing for the other side. And now for the shoes. We're gonna do like a little dent here. Right there. And I'm just gonna do it on the same for the other side as well. Might as well. And then we're gonna kind of go for like a cowboy boot style. It's okay if it doesn't line up exactly. And so we're gonna curve it up right there. Gonna do the same thing. The other side, kind of go the opposite way. There we go. And now for the details. Do it pretty much. Then we're gonna have lines and uh, simple details for what a, a sneaker has or tennis tennis shoes, right? Tennis shoes. Tennis shoes popping. And for the star, it's just pretty much like that. Except the one right here, so extend it out. There. And it's pretty much how you draw Molly from the Ghost to Molly McGee. And I'll do some outlining and fill in the rest of the details. I'll see you later. Disney Channel has been using a lot of optimistic girls as their main characters, like Mabel Pines, Star Butterfly, Luz Noceta from the Apple House, and Marcy from Amphibia. But personally, I don't really care because they each have a different way of going for their optimism. I recommend you watch the shows, which are Gravity Falls, Star vs. The Forces of Evil, The Apple House, and Amphibia. As long as the optimistic girls aren't like really that stereotypical and that's what I mean by girly girl or really stupid. Well, I mean, except for the ones that, except for Star and Starfire. They're from somewhere not from Earth and it's okay for them to be a little stupid. Some of you may have not heard of this show. It's because it's not out yet going to be coming in I think two months so I'm getting a little ahead and I cannot wait to watch this show glad that their upcoming show is an animated one rather than another crappy sitcom. I always assume, I'm always assuming that the Nickelodeon show Side Hustle was given to Disney and they declined in place of the ghost in Molly McGee. 
And thank goodness, I was not about to watch another crappy sitcom my brother was gonna force me to watch. video i hope you enjoyed be sure to hit like and subscribe and i'll see you tomorrow bye